Hey guys, Tarek Merryface here on the Merryface Aviation, uh, Aviation Channel. Welcome back. We're looking at how to use the CRP. Uh, second part for TAS. Uh, this will be quite quick because I don't want to go into the more advanced stuff for now. We're going to look at MAC numbers in specific. MAC and how to calculate TAS from MAC. Now, what you should know is that MAC is the MAC number is the percent is basically the the fraction of airspeed you're tra of, of the speed of sound you're traveling at um, the best way to put it is that Mach 1.0 is the speed of sound in the local area now I want you to pay attention to the local area. It's very important. It's because the speed of sound actually varies uh, with one very important variable, which is this guy, temperature. Temperature is very important, and it's actually the only variable that we as pilots care for. Um, and therefore, when you get a question asking you to calculate tasks for Mac, uh, <laughs> You're going to get all kinds of information. You're going to get QNH from the bottom. You're going to get pressure. You're going to get um, you're going to get flight level. You're going to get God knows <laughs> uh, the sometimes even the altitude of the troposphere. They, they'll they'll do that. And as I was saying before, this is just this is just to make sure that you know how to select the right information. But really, what you want is temperature. Um, and the Mach number. These are the two variables you need. They are the only two variables you need to find TAS. Bam. There you go. Very simple. Not very complicated. So, um, let's say you got a question where they give you the information that your cruise is at flight level 050, so 5,000 feet. Your TAS, oh sorry, your MAC, my bad. Your MAC number is M0.4. Your, uh, the temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. Um, and then, I don't know, QNH is 1012 hectopascals. And they'll give you a bunch of information. Remember, all we need is these two, since they ask us to find TAS. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the flight computer, the CRP5. And remember, the same window as before, uh, the Mach number or pressure altitude. And you're going to keep spinning it until you find this guy, the Mach number index. This guy is basically all you want, and you want to line it up with the local temperature. Now, the local temperature is 11 degrees Celsius. So, we're going to go 10, 11 degrees. I agree that's about 11 degrees. Uh, actually, that's wrong. That's 1 degree. Uh, there you go, 11 degrees. Bam. Let's put it close to 10. That's accurate enough for now. Okay, 11 degrees. And now what we're going to do is find the Mach number. So the Mach number is going to be in the in the inside. So you've got uh, 1.0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And we're going to find 0 0.4, which is going to be 40 on the inside, like this. And this will give us an air a TAS, a true airspeed of 220, sorry, 200, uh, 262 knots, my bad. 200 and 62 knots. So let me have a look at that again. Uh, up the line on the uh, 40, which is going to be 0. Uh, point, uh, sorry, 0. 0.4 Mac number. Um, and you get uh, 262 knots. And that's it. You've got your task. And you know, it was just as before with the previous question. If you need, if they give you, if they give you tasks and they ask you to find Mac number, it's the same thing, you just line up with a MAC number and then on the outside, you look for the task they give you. Um, and then on the inside, you'll find the true value that they want. 
Okay, so it's not that difficult, really. It can't get. <laughs> I don't know how how much simple I can get it. Now there's a whole compressibility error which I don't want to go into today. But um, yeah, that's it. That's as simple as it gets when it comes to calculating true airspeed from the Mach number and vice versa. I'm Tarek Mariface. If you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please subscribe and comment, etc. If you want me to help you solve a problem. Just go ahead and leave a comment or send me a message or whatever. Right, well, I'm Tarek Mariface. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.